Could you come in, sit down on the piano stool? What's that? You're tired from a long day of school. How much piano practice have you done this week? You've had an awful cold that left you feeling weak. You had a cough as well and your temperature was high. Diarrhea and sickness too, my oh my. You had an ear infection that left you in a daze. That is an awful lot to happen in just seven days. You hurt your finger and it was too sore to play. You lost your music and you only found it yesterday. Well, muster all your strength now and play a little, please. Perhaps a bit of Beethoven's lovely Furelies. As I told you last week and the week before that, 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 that note is not a sharp, but frigging a flat. At home you played it perfectly with the A flat. If I had a penny for every time I heard that, try to practice every day this week and we will see if next week you can have both hands playing in the same key. Next. shut the door behind you and come in. And this week, how much have you practiced on your violin? You practice seven hours each day, every single day. If I asked your mum the same question, what would she say? She asked you to stop, but you played more and more. Seven hours is a lot for someone who is only four. It seems somewhat unlikely, but you never know. Violin up, let's give Monty's child ass a go. Like nails on a blackboard, it gets you right there. A day of violin lessons is a living nightmare. Use lots and lots of bow to help the violin to sing. Try to keep bow and fingers on the same string. Please, 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 please. Try to get the piece all the same speed. Keep your violin up and your bow nice and straight. And then you won't sound quite so much like a squeaky gate. Next. Be very patient. I mustn't rant and rave. Don't think of poor Beethoven turning in his grave. Tell me on a day like this, is it such a sin to sometimes wish that I'd gone deaf just like him? Next. Do not play quite so loudly. I'm getting a headache. I'm really not sure how much more of this I can take. Perhaps a change of scene, a new career might be good. I really should be writing music scores for Hollywood. Next.